Hi, I'm Dwayne Goins, registered dietitian and owner of Neurotrition, where I offer nutrition and neurofeedback services. In this video, I will explain what to expect for your first lens neurofeedback treatment and give you a step-by-step -step guide so you feel prepared and confident in your first appointment. Before you continue this video, it might be helpful to watch my introductory video on lens neurofeedback, link below. Also, check out my full disclaimer in the description box below. Let's get started. The first lens visit will begin with a review of the initial questionnaire that you will have completed prior to your lens appointment. It is very important to complete all the questions on the lens questionnaire, which has three parts, as it will help determine the treatment plan and the degree of feedback you will receive during your first treatment. You can find the questionnaire online at oakslabs.com, also linked in the description box below. It has a variety of questions that will let your provider know your level of sensitivity and reactivity and other factors that might be helpful in treatment. While reviewing your questionnaire responses, you and your provider will also discuss any medical diagnoses and or medications that you are taking, and we will discuss what your goals are with LENS. An explanation of LENS neurofeedback will also be given to you, and you can ask any questions to your LENS provider before treatment begins. For the actual treatment itself, you will comfortably sit on a chair. You'll want to remove any jewelry on your ears beforehand and set them to the side. Also, you will place all electronics to the side so that they do not cause any electrical interference with the lens software. The first step is for your earlobes to be cleaned with NuPrep gel, which is a medical cleaning gel that will help repair your ears for grounding sensors. It removes oil, makeup, lotion, hairspray, and anything that will interfere with the treatment. After your earlobes are cleaned by your provider with the gel, a conductive paste will be applied to a pair of grounding ear sensors that will be gently attached to your ears. They will feel like clip-on earrings and should be comfortable. Then the sites that will be treated in the session will be cleaned by your provider with the new prep gel. Please note that if you are wearing any makeup, it will be removed by the gel at those sites. Then a pair of additional flathead sensors will be placed on various sites of your head with conductive paste and the paste helps to hold the sensors in place. There are 21 sites on the brain utilized in traditional neurofeedback recognized by neurologists around the world, and each site is located on a particular bone region of the brain which corresponds to certain brain functions. It will take several sessions to complete all 21 sites on your brain to gather a full map of your brain waves, which are recorded by the software and can be evaluated for further treatment. Both the head sensors and ear sensors are connected by wires to an EEG amplifier, which reads your brain waves in real time. The EEG amplifier is connected to a computer or laptop set up with the proprietary lens software. After the pair of head sensors have been applied to your scalp, the practitioner will monitor the brain waves recorded for any electrical interference and then will ask you to close your eyes for the treatment. An application of feedback will run anywhere from one to 10 seconds. You will hear a soft beep indicating treatment has begun and a louder ding when treatment has been completed. That's it. It is painless, chemical free, and relaxing. A common question asked is whether lens is like shock therapy. No, it is not. Lens involves a very small amount of electrical energy, which is just enough to nudge your brain into making changes. The electromagnetic signal is one one thousandth of the energy emitted by a cell phone. That is extremely low and much less than the electronics that you use in your day-to-day -day life. So in some ways, your phone is more powerful than lens. But in other ways, lens is more powerful because it is programmed to treat your brain. Remember that lens is safe for even children under the age of two. Depending on your treatment plan, your provider might run more than one pair of sites and the head sensors will be attached to other sites on your head and the process will repeat. Your provider will check in with you after each pair of sites are treated to see how you are feeling and will note any changes. After the treatment, your provider will remove all the sensors and wipe down any remaining paste on your ears and head with rubbing alcohol or an alcohol substitute if you prefer. You might need to shower later to remove all paste from your hair, scalp, and ears. Then your provider will check in with you again to assess how you are feeling and to see whether you noticed anything during the treatment. Sometimes people will feel a tingling sensation where the sensors are placed or notice right after the treatment that their senses are more heightened, like vision, hearing or taste. Others might experience a flushed face. 
and most will experience a relaxed effect or calmness after a session. Some people, though, might not notice anything at all, and that is also perfectly acceptable, because what matters are the changes that you will notice in your life afterward. You will be asked to note any changes experienced within 48 hours of your appointment and update your top 10 symptoms from your questionnaire online. This is an important step to help evaluate your progress. As a side note, if your questionnaire results indicate that you are a sensitive person, meaning you are someone who notices changes easily or you are very strongly affected by your environment, your provider might start the lens treatment on your feet first as sensitive people don't necessarily need direct head lens to experience changes. Your feet are the furthest point away from your brain, and this makes the feedback very mild and easy to process for sensitive people. I've seen patients experience significant changes from only lens on their feet, including better vision and improved mood. This will be too mild a treatment for you, however, if you are not high in sensitivity. So if lens on your feet is tolerated well, your provider might move the sensors to your head for following sessions. You can watch my other video, What Changes to Expect with Lens Neurofeedback, for more information on what can happen during and after a lens session. So what about side effects? If side effects occur, they are minimal and temporary because lens neurofeedback is a gentle modality which gives the brain just enough input to reorganize itself. Potential side effects could be feelings of tiredness, wiredness, irritability, or anxiety. These feelings are temporary and last only about 24 to 48 hours. Many people will also report vivid dreams after a lens appointment. You will be reminded to stay hydrated and well-nourished after your treatment because your brain requires energy to process the changes and input. It is recommended that you work with a therapist or doctor if you have any psychological or physical conditions that require collaborative care. Lens can bring up sensitive memories for certain individuals so it is helpful to discuss this with your family, friends, and other qualified providers. It is also recommended that you take time to rest and relax after a lens treatment to help facilitate your best outcomes. Your treatment dose can also be reduced or increased based on whether you experience these side effects or if you experience no changes at all. How many appointments do you need with the lens? You will likely be set up with weekly appointments at your convenience and you will continue with treatment until you have received your desired results. Some patients only need a few sessions of lens to have completed their treatment, while the average amount of sessions for desired results are accomplished in about 10 to 15 sessions. It all depends on how you are feeling and what you are looking to achieve from lens neurofeedback. This is where the post-session questionnaire on your top 10 symptoms will really help evaluate the efficacy of your experience with lens. For example, for myself, one of my top 10 symptoms was sensitivity to light which I had rated 8 out of 10 for severity before any treatment. But after about 5 to 6 sessions of lens, it came down to 3 out of 10, which is a huge difference that I was able to see for myself. What about the map of your 21 sites? You do not need to have all 21 sites treated to have completed your lens journey. It all depends on what you are looking to achieve from lens neurofeedback. You should know that these results are variable and that they change day to day based on what's going on in your life. If all 21 sites are treated, you can see the full map of all your sites. Again, these recordings of your brain sites are not as important as the changes you are experiencing in your life because your brain waves change day to day and are affected by your mood and environment. So the brain maps will not be the focus of your treatments, but it can be interesting and helpful in determining a treatment plan for you. At the very end of the session, you will provide payment for the treatment. Insurance does not typically cover lens neurofeedback, so you will likely be paying out of pocket for this service, but it may be reimbursed through health savings accounts and flexible spending accounts. Please confirm with your HSA or FSA for biofeedback reimbursement. You can review all the lens providers in your areas to see what prices, locations, and providers are best suited for you. For my practice, I currently offer the first session free because many people don't know about lens neurofeedback and need to experience the effects first before they can commit. If you're a prospective patient, welcome, and I'm looking forward to meeting you soon. Definitely check out my other videos on Lens to help get a bigger picture. Check out the description box for information about my practice on where you can find a Lens provider near you. Please subscribe to support my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.